Hey, welcome to Loose Park. This is Kevin Stoda from the Kevin Stoda channel. Uh, it's a hot day, but I'm in the Loose Park Gardens. I hope you like it. We're going to go to the Rose Gardens here in a minute, but first we're just going to promenade down. This is one of those donations to the city, I guess, from Luce family and other people many, many years ago. It's on Warnell Road here, between maybe Warnell and Ward Parkway. This is the big stuff that would come from the 1930s. when government had works projects or something like that. But maybe it's afterwards. Look up the history. Uh, Loose Park has a rose garden and that's what I'm looking for today. I hope we find it and you like it. I brought my daughter here the other day and they were already doing the gardening in it and they had it closed off. There's supposed to be roses any time of year here. There's the sign. It says Rose Garden, so we must be heading the right way. I'm right here. Hi, this is Kevin Stoner. Somebody's having a celebration. Oh, I like they have oranges, roses. Inside, uh, it's five book in Germany. There's a rose garden, and I went there many, many years ago with my uh, friend John Walter Smith. Oh, that's pretty. Seems to be mixed. I wish they put the names out there. In five book, they had three thousand types of roses, and I imagine they have that many here. But there seems to be some intermarriages here too. Loose Park Rose Garden is uh, one of the largest in the area. This is a bumblebee. Let's take a bumblebee here. Yeah. I love bumblebees. They don't bite. They look bumbly. Anyway, here's a shot of me with my mask off. Welcome to the Kevin Study Channel. Hi, Vic. Hi, Kenzie. Hi, family, friends. There's actually roses on both sides. I'm going to go one side down there. Mm-hmm. 
Cut back this way, huh? There's the whole rose park. I don't think it's so hot. Uh, we have a little bit of breeze. They do a lot of wedding pictures in here. I think they're supposed to get a license though. Anyway, if you've seen a great rose garden in the United States somewhere, please let me know. Or around the world, like I was in Spy Brooklyn, Germany with my friend decades ago. It's been, I guess it's been that long. It's been almost 30, Six years since I've been in a big rose garden like this. It was just set up outside of a castle. I've seen some in castles over the years, but this is in the United States. And brilliant, huh? A pink carnation. Uh, there's some pink cars in this nation, but my car is a van and it's blue. it's blue maybe we run into blue roses somewhere though should buy some roses for my wife huh cut over this way tiny fifty roses here yeah, the humidity is pretty high, so I'm surprised the roses are doing this well, actually. This is Kansas City, so they're built for durability. Kansas City gets terribly humid, like it was last year. A lot of people out here with hats. Americans like that, they don't wear hats. I think Europeans too. But umbrella would be appropriate. Ah, Kansas City. Beautiful Kansas City. In the summertime. A great rose garden of Loose Park. Of course, these are some of the people who put the Rose Garden up, and I guess it was in 1937 through World War II, 48, they put this together. That's great. So some of the statues were from the 30s style when they hired many artists to get to work in America. That's what they should be doing right now, help promoting the arts. Instead, they're making the wealthiest wealthy with our tax dollar. What a horrible government we have. Pretty one. Let's see what we got here for a roast. Mm -hmm. A lot of bugs are flying away from me. I'm trying to get a bug in a roast. Anyway, this is me waving at you. Mm, that looks great. 
great. Oh, I love peach colored roses too. Orange and peach colored, I like them. Let's see what that one is. I got hit by a rose, so it must be hurting me. <laughs> yes, I am. That's the thing about it. We like shade though in the summer. Oh, doesn't help the roses though. They kind of hide here in the shade. Let's see if we can do it. Uh, we get a little closer to you. Brilliant view of the park, huh? Oh, there are some lizards up there. We'll go up there and come back then. So if you're enjoying the roses, let me know. Uh, enjoying the beautiful sun and the clouds it's a little hot but it's not as humid as yesterday boy it was humid yesterday so this is uh one entrance to the garden i didn't know that i could have snuck over last week and got a shot Task court behind me. Hi, Bunny. It's all Bunny. Hope we got in the camera shot. Oh, Yellow Rose of Texas, huh? Yellow Rose of Texas. La 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 Yeah. For those who just joined us, we're at this park in Kansas City. Oh, there's another bug on that one. Pretty bug. I hope he's alive. Maybe he's just enjoying the shade. We're at the Rose Garden in Kansas City. Uh, it's the largest one, in, I think, in this part of the Midwest. Probably have to go to Chicago or someplace further to get that much. Maybe Denver. I have to bring my daughter back, but on a cooler day, she doesn't like the heat. Neither does my wife. It looks like some kids though over there are in a water area. Maybe we can get my daughter over here. Do that, huh? God bless the roses. Yeah, that's where over in distance, that's where they have uh, right in the center of the camera they've got a water splash area for kids. That's good. So they could come check out the roses and splash. Check out the roses and splash. Again and again. Hmm. If you've been here, uh, let me know. If you know where Loose Park is, let me know. If you like the view, let me know. There we are. Again, we look at the garden and look up at the sky and praise the Lord for the good weather. 
the machine that they made when they designed this place, huh? There's some sticky things here, my thorns. We go a little bit closer to these ones. Somebody took their scooter and left it right here in the park. I guess I can understand that. Huh? Yeah, I think it was about this time a year in 1984 when I went to the Rose Garden in Spybrook and it was very similar to this. But I wish they had the signs with the names of all these roads. I think they do over there in the Lily area. Well, here's Veterans Honor Roads, hybrid tea, they call it. We've got a tea garden just around the corner, too. A Japanese tea garden. Uh, they call it the tea house, but there's a little garden there. Japanese style, huh? Good to go slow and really enjoy the roses, huh? Even if they're not perfect. They're gorgeous, huh? Like it? I do. color huh the red and the orange and the yellow bug in that one probably smells good but I've got a face mask on I don't know what that is around again. Almost yellow. That one's definitely yellow. Anyway, if you like the view of the roses, let me know. I'll just try to do some more of this later. I think I'm going to take some rest in the shade. Meantime, you guys have a good day. This is the Kevin Stoddard's channel saying goodbye for this time from the Rose Garden in Loose Park, Kansas City, Missouri. If you like us, give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up. <laughs> and uh, we'll talk again later. Bye. Uh, yeah, sign up for the Kevin Stoddard's channel. Become a member, subscriber.